All right, for number one, rock A is dropped. It has only vertical velocity, so the horizontal velocity should be at zero. It has no positive displacement. So this here tells me that there should be a positive displacement, so this graph is not correct. It should look like this. It only has negative displacement, and the, the rock is speeding up in the negative uh, position, so it'll have a negative velocity. For rock B, it is being thrown. There is some horizontal motion here, so your time graph should look, velocity time graph should look like this. And this velocity time graph is correct. They both went the same velocity in the vertical direction, right? They're both starting from a zero velocity in the vertical direction. Rock A is being thrown because there's some initial horizontal speed, right? If you are uh, going off a cliff, but you need something to project you forward. So it's being thrown. Rock B, it has no initial horizontal velocity, so it's being dropped, okay, just like our example up here. Does rock A hit the ground first at the same time or after rock B? <clears throat> this tells me that uh, rock A has some initial upward motion. So it's going like this, whereas <clears throat> rock B is just being dropped down here. So this time part, right, this time, the time that it takes to go this motion is going to make the time in the air longer for A. So A will hit the ground first, A first. A's in the ground, air longer. B first, <laughs> and then A. Uh, <clears throat> since B has no horizontal velocity, it will hit the ground right at the base of the cliff. So A is going to be farther because it has some forward motion. <clears throat> velocity time graphs. They're thrown horizontally. So V and X in the horizontal. Rock A having a greater velocity than rock B. So this would be my velocity for rock A. This would be my velocity for rock B. And my velocity in the vertical, they both would look like this. They would hit the ground at the same time because they have the same time, same height. Uh, rock A with a greater velocity they would have the greater Horizontal displacement. Two rocks thrown having a, a has a greater velocity. This is the same question. Wait. What? Did we even go over this one in class? I don't know. with the origin at the bottom of the cliff. I don't know, it's essentially the same thing. I know it's like nuanced, but it's essentially the same. Oh man. For number five, The magnitude of the horizontal velocity of the rock. Rock B is greater than A. Magnitude of 
vertical velocity, right, they're going to be the same at zero. The horizontal acceleration, they're going to be the same at zero. And the vertical acceleration, they're going to be equal at negative 10. All right, I do want to talk about the differences between these two, but I will make a different video.